Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. Given that 9 raised to a equals 6 plus 3 raised to a, then the question is what is the value of a? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. Actually, the answer is very obvious, but this is how we solve this kind of question. And again, this is obvious. We know all of you got the answer of 1 because literally, looking at this equation, a must be equal to 1 because 9 plus 6 plus 3, 6 plus 3 is just 9, so 9 equals to 9. Now, how are we going to solve that actually a is equal to 1? Here's how we do it. Now, take note that this time can be written as 3 squared. And now, let's use some loss of exponent. If we have b raised to n raised to the power of m, it is equivalent to b raised to m raised to the power of n. Therefore, this 3 squared raised to a can be written as 3 raised to a quantity squared. Now, since we have the same term, 3 raised to a, so we can replace this with another variable, and let's call this as p. Now, let's replace all 3 raised to a with p. This will give us p squared equals 6 plus p. Now, we have a quadratic equation in terms of p. Now, also take note that since p equals 3 raised to a, p is greater than 0. Now, Let's solve this quadratic equation in terms of p. First thing to do is to equate this to 0. Now, p squared minus p minus 6 is factorable, and this can be factored as p minus 3 times p plus 2. If we distribute this or if we multiply this using FOIL method or any method that we know, this will give us p squared minus p minus 6. Now, let's go back to the factored form. And now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we have p minus 3 equal to 0, or p plus 2 equals to 0. Now, on the first equation, we can solve for the value of p. Let's add 3 on both sides. This will give us the value of p as 3. Now, on the second equation, if we subtract 2 on both sides, we get that the value of p must be equal to negative 2. Now, since p is greater than 0. Therefore, we need to disregard the value of p as negative 2 because we know that p is greater than 0. Therefore, the only possible case is if p equals 3. Now, since p equals 3 raised to a, we can say that 3 raised to a equals 3. Now, we know that this 3 has an exponent of 1. Since we have the same base, therefore their exponent must be the same. Thus, we can say that a must be 1. Therefore, given this equation 9 raised to a equals 6 plus 3 raised to a, the value of a must be equal to 1. And as always, we are done.